Hello again fellow Beachbum traders. Today we want to do a little more detailed analysis and comparison of three of the most popular ETFs to play uh, an overall index fund uh, strategy, uh, VOO, which is the ETF on the S&P 500 index, VTI, which is on the total uh, market index, and VT, which is on the global stock index. And we, uh, if you followed us for some time, we've kind of gone back and forth between uh, wanting to invest long term on a dip uh, for uh, overall growth in the stock market using BOO versus VTI. So we kind of started with VOO because that was generally uh, recommended uh, as the most popular. And then we kind of went over to the VTI. And recently I heard a video by Joseph Hoag. And I'll put the link to that in the description box below. It's called The Worst ETF Investing Advice I've Ever Heard, where he does some analysis. And that brought up some interesting facts about the overlap in some of these um, uh, ETFs on the indices. So we wanted to do a little bit deeper dive, deeper due diligence into those to decide uh, which one do we want to invest in on a dip in the market uh, so for a long-term investment uh, view so let's dig into them and we'll take a look so firstly let's look at the profile of each of these index ETFs on the Vanguard site and I will put a link to their profiles in the description box below so you can dig into them in more detail and reference them in the future but if we start out and we look at the profile of VOO on Vanguard and you can see there's a number of tabs that you can dig into on each of these but I just want to do a quick overview and point out some of the facts about the, uh, each of these ETFs. The first one on VOO, which again is on the S&P 500. Again, this is one of the most popular uh, index fund ETFs. Uh, we can see it has an expense ratio of 0.03%, so that's important. Uh, we can see its overall performance. Um, then we can see this is a nice graph. It shows the performance one year, three year, five year, 10. And since inception, we can see VOO is kind of averaged about 15%. And we can see if you invested $10,000 in 2012, it would have gone up to about uh, $40,000 as of uh, 10 years later. So uh, you quadruple your money uh, by putting it into VOO for 10 years, uh, which is pretty great, huh? So we can then see what it's uh, distributed, uh, what its holdings are. It actually has 506 stocks, which is interesting since it's the S&P 500. Uh, we see net assets, it has no foreign holdings. And then we can also see the top holdings. And this will be interesting as we compare these because uh, we can see Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, it's all the you know top uh, mega cap uh, companies. So, and then, and then we can see distribution across sectors. So I wanted to point out the expense ratio. Also, um, some additional points I want to point out about um, the VOO is it is optionable, so you can write covered calls against your uh, position. We'll see when we look at the profile in FinViz. It pays a dividend of about 1.32%. As I pointed out, expense ratio is 0.03. Uh, so we'll compare those to uh, VT and VTI in a second. Okay, if we now look at the profile for VT, which is the Vanguard Total World Stock ETF on the Vanguard site, uh, we can see it has an expense ratio of 0.07%. Uh, so again, in comparison to uh, VOO uh, at 0.03%, uh, we can look at the distribution. We see the performance. It has uh, since inception. It only has a seven point, about seven point six percent return. It had uh, as high as almost fourteen percent in the past three years. And if you had invested ten thousand dollars in twenty twelve, it would have peaked out in somewhere in the twenty seven, twenty eight thousand. So, uh, not quite a, a threefold return in comparison to the VOO, which was a four time return we can see the distribution now this is a total world so you do have emerging markets you've got foreign markets you can see 
Um, the top 10 holdings is 15%. It's covering almost uh, 9,500 stocks. Uh, and But again, you'll see the top holdings, again, is Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, etc. So again, it's still heavily weighted towards the U.S. mega cap uh, companies, and that comprises 15.7 of the total assets. And uh, that was one of the things uh, and that Joseph Hogue pointed out in his video is there's a lot of overlap among these three. Uh, so although this sounds like it covers a large number of stocks, um, there's still the majority of the holdings is, is overlapping between the three of them. Uh, so uh, some other points about VT is it is optionable. Uh, so again, you can write covered calls against your position, uh, and it has a dividend return of 1.64 uh, in comparison to 1.32, so the VOO. Uh, but again, it has an expense ratio of 0.07% in comparison to 0.03% for uh, the VOO. So now let's take a look at the VTI. Okay, now let's take a look at the Vanguard profile for VTI, the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF. Again, if we scroll down, we can see it has an expense ratio of about 0.03%. You can see that it tracks the U.S. total market index, large, mid, small caps. If we look at the performance, we can see the uh, since inception performs about 8.6%. Uh, it's top was about 18 percent in the past three years and we can see if you invested ten thousand dollars in 2012 it would have maxed out about forty thousand so it's good vti is comparable to voo you'd get a quadruple in your money over that 10-year period um, and then we could see it covers about 4100 stocks and it has the top 10 holdings comprise 25.6 percent it has only a 0.1 percent of foreign holdings so uh, it's still you know mostly u.s stocks you can see the distribution across sectors and again we see the top 10 holdings which comprises almost 26 percent is again apple microsoft alphabet amazon so again uh, the top uh, 10 holdings of all three of these tend to be uh, the same. And again, that's something that Joseph Hogan pointed out is that uh, there's a lot of overlap in these. So although you think you're diversifying more broadly, and that is uh, true, you are covering a larger number of stocks. Um, the, the top holdings are essentially the same. And so they're weighted heavily uh, to the same set of stocks. Now, the VTI uh, it pays a dividend of 1.32%, which is the same as the VOO, a little less than the VT. Uh, it is, again, optionable, uh, so you can write covered calls, and we see the expense ratio is 0.03%, which is the same as the VOO and less than uh, the VT. So now let's take a look at some of the other factors that we want to take into consideration in comparing these ETFs. Okay, if we take a look at each of those index ETFs, VOO, VTI, and VT, uh, on a monthly chart in FinViz, uh, we can kind of see their current price and their price range. So we see VOO is around $400. Uh, we can see it's run up. We can see where it sits relative to its averages. Uh, if we then look at VT, See, it has a current price around 100. Again, we can see a general upward trend. It's kind of hugging its average right now. In a minute, we'll compare the ranges and see which one has the best uh, risk reward profile. Then again, we look at VTI. It's about 220, 214, 215. See general upward trend. Again, it is also hugging its 50 day uh, moving average at this time. Uh, so now, again, we'll look at the risk-reward profile, the ranges, which one maybe has the best risk-reward profile. Okay, so if I use my Google Sheet uh, to do a comparison of the ranges of each of those three ETFs, VOO, VT, and VTI, um, as I've done in comparing other ETFs, you'll see in some of our other ETF comparison videos, um, and I'll put links to the that playlist and those other videos in the description box below. But essentially, I take the 52-week range, 
plug that into the column for the 52-week range. Then I look at the monthly chart and find the top and bottom, the support, near-term support and resistance areas. Plug that into this Google Sheet, and it will give me a uh, risk-to-reward profile for each of those. So uh, among the three, we can see that BOO has the best 52-week uh, range uh, reward-to-risk profile of about 1.18. Um, the other two are, are only slightly less, but BT has the, has the less uh, risk to reward profile for a 52 week range. If we look uh, in the near term, um, well, if we look the overall bottom to top, again, we see VT has a 4.49 range, uh, VTI has 4.47, and BT only has 2.82. Uh, so, again, significant difference in the bottom-to-top uh, risk-to-reward uh, range for VTI and BOO. And then if we look at the near-term support-to-resistance range, uh, we can see, uh, again, VT or VOO has a little bit better at one point, almost 1.13. Uh, VTI has 1.12. And VT has only uh, 1.10, essentially. Uh, so again, based on all of this data, um, the fact that the expense ratio in VTI and BOO is only 0.03% uh, versus 0.07% for uh, VT, and that there's just a significant overlap between the three. Um, going forward, we're going to use, unless additional information comes to light that causes us to reassess or these ranges change significantly, uh, we're going to use uh, VOO as our long term. Um, investment ETF for riding the markets back up. Again, we'll buy it on a dip in the markets. When the market essentially bottoms, we'll buy a chunk in. If the market tops, uh, we'll probably cash some out if it looks like it's going to roll over. And then again, we'll wait for a dip to buy back in because uh, we want to take advantage of these uh, ranges, this um, swing back up and, and down to capitalize on, on those swings in the market. So again, we thought that was useful information. Uh, we got the additional information from Joseph Hogue, you know, has said, hey, these pr primarily overlap and uh, it's worth taking a deeper look into them. So we dug in deeper and, and uh, essentially uh, switched back from BTI to BOO in terms of our, our long-term ETF to invest in the overall market uh, uptrend. So we hope this all helps. Uh, and please let us know what you think of uh, each of these uh, ETFs. If you have any additional information that we should consider, um, please let us know in the comments below in our Discord and our Facebook group, and we'd be happy to take another look. So we hope this all helps. The content of this video was produced by Beach Bum Trading. We hope you will choose to also join us in the Beach Bum Trading community and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Visit us at our homepage at beachbumtrading.com, the bum without the U. Similarly on Twitter, Beach Bum Trading, bum without the U. On Facebook and in our Beach Bum Trading Facebook group. Please follow us on Pinterest and on Instagram. All of the links to our social media sites will be included in the description box below. And we hope you will choose to subscribe to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel and follow us on social media. Thank you. We also cordially want to invite you to our new Beach Bum Trading Community Discord server where we can have discussions on all topics related to trading, success in trading, investing, etc. You can see uh, alerts when we make trades, changes to our watch list, etc. So again, please join us in the new Beach Bump Trading Community Discord server. You should be able to find a link in the description box below. You can also find a link in the social media category on our webpage, beachbumptrading.com, without the bum without the U, and also in the link section on the about page of our YouTube channel, etc. So again, we look forward to seeing you in the Beach Bump Trading Community Discord server soon. Wave and say hello.
Thank you again for watching our video. We hope that you liked it. If so, please smash the like button. Give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to our Beach Bum Trading YouTube channel. Please share this video with your fellow traders and friends. And please give us your feedback and any recommendations for improvement in the comment section below. And let us know what else we can do to help you in your trading career. Thank you again. Good luck and have a great trading day. If you like this video, we hope you will choose to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the box in the upper left hand corner. You can watch another video like this by clicking on the box in the lower right hand corner. And we have a whole playlist of videos like this that you can access via the box in the upper right hand corner. Our latest video is available in the box in the lower left hand corner. We hope you like this and have a great day.